tonight You're about to have a really good time And it's sure to make you smile On the bus, in the car, on the airpods With our bus Crank it up on the works on It's the Bad and the Young Podcast Bad and the Young Podcast G'day there, podcaster Oh, fun episode today. Um, some shitty bits, I'll be honest with you. Um, yep. But yeah, most of it like up to scratch, I'd say. But I think we said... Do we put the bad, the the break that was at 6.50? Yeah, that's in there. It's in, in there? its full entirety. Yep. Um, oh, we call it out. Like, Yeah, I think it's like the fifth thing you'll hear um, about the argument getting personal. Yep. Uh, you also Great, I thought, what can I say? I thought the setup was fun. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I thought the setup was fun. I thought the too. calls were a bit flat, and then we acknowledged that, which I like, because I feel like in our early days of radio... You just try and go, ha, 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 You would over laugh and then pretend like it was funny even though it wasn't and then it makes it more awkward and then you wouldn't mm. acknowledge it. Whereas now we just go, that wasn't great. Yeah, I think I start just talking about dead celebrities. Yep. So that's never fun. Um, there's also We also have the big debate in there, um, which we saw on the Ben and Liam Alpha Squad, yep. uh, which is our sort of private forum. You can join at any time. There's a bit of discussion on whether the segment stays or goes. Well, I wouldn't say it was a discussion. I'd say it was a lot of people saying, get rid of it. Okay, because you told me about it, but I hadn't actually seen yeah, it. Yeah, I saw yeah. it. And, and it's funny that I saw that because, I'll be totally honest, I was saying that two weeks ago before the post went up. Yeah. And then I said... We were all vibing it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, we're all vibing it. So it's good to know that we're in sync with the Alpha Squad. I think next week we may do... A debate on whether we should keep the segment the big debate. Yep. But the problem is our boss, Vegan Ben, boss it's man it's Ben. It's his favourite thing. It's his favourite thing. So he genuinely doesn't want us to get rid of it. But then we're going, ah, oh, I can give it a rest. Give, but yeah, he actually is yeah. like, no, no, don't rest up. So yeah. that's but well, that, if it does stay around, that's why it's staying around. But just yeah, have a listen to this one today. Just open ears and yep. just see what you reckon. Enjoy. Yes, good morning, Adelaide. Happy Friday. Hell of a weekend in Adelaide Beer and Barbecue Festival. You heading in, Ben? Uh, I, I was thinking about it, but I was more leaning towards going to Illuminate Adelaide. Oh, yeah, right. That's also good. I'm doing Beer and Barbecue Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and you might be able to hear my voice, but I kicked it off a little early last night at the Thebden Theatre. What did you do last night? Sticky Fingers, Skeggs tonight, Body Jar 28 Days, Smithies tomorrow. Yeah, a lot, a lot on, a lot of bands. Mm. Not really going to play them here, so you probably that probably went over a lot of people's heads. Because um, unfortunately, Harry Styles and Doja Cat are not playing in Adelaide <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. If they oh, were. Yeah, I would go and see yeah. them for sure. One hundred percent. Kick out the jams, Ben and Liam. Liam, I really put my foot in it yesterday uh, when I bumped into my neighbour Brendan. Ah, uh, no, because you were telling us all yesterday about how the neighbour put a note. On your on your car, saying, "Can you please not park here?" Because they find it hard to reverse out of their driveway, even though you're like on the other side of the road and you're parking in front of your own house. And then I proceeded to blast them and say that I will continue to park there. Yeah, it's one of those. I thought that was pretty bold of you, yep. knowing that you had to um, well go and live next to that person. For Worst the thing, life. Uh, very so public drilling, wasn't it? It was, but I think I was in the right there and different neighbour. Oh right! So, oh, the, so you you're really Mister Popular on the street at so the moment. The, if you've, so you've 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 angered another neighbour. Well, no, so I'll, I'll explain the story. So the other neighbour, I don't even know who they are. I never met them before. The one that put the note in my car. But this other neighbour, Brendan, I like him a lot. He's been there ever since I lived in my house. Very lovely, very lovely man. Is he the man with the Tesla battery on his house? Yes. Yeah, it must be nice. It must be very nice having a Tesla battery. Um, and look, I hadn't seen Brendan for probably a few months, and I said, "Oh, how have things been? I haven't seen you in a while." And he said, "Oh." Not great, we're moving. Oh, no. And I said, oh, no, really? And he said, yeah, so Trish, his wife, who's yeah. also as lovely as Brendan, um, she said the parents are getting older and they live interstate, so we're moving interstate to look after them. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, exactly. But uh, he said, we're keeping the house and we're just going to rent it out. Uh, but he said, Trish is already over there looking after the parents. Yeah. And so I'm like working, I'm packing up all that stuff, and I'm trying to do repairs around the house to get it up to scratch to rent it out. Oh, yeah, I think you'll be all right. I mean, he's got a Tesla battery on his house. <laughs> I think, you know, you could probably pay someone to do some of the work for Yeah, him and so house. I said, oh, if you need a hand with anything around the house or when the truck comes, I can help you move. And he said, oh, really? <laughs> no, actually. Now, no, Liam, no, that was more of a nice... Uh... Liam, you know me more than anyone. That was a very, very empty promise. Oh, <laughs> and I and I could not stress this enough. The emptiest, the emptiest <laughs> of promises. I remember when uh, we first moved over to um, Sydney, mm. like when we, we did radio over there for a while. We lived like pretty close, yeah. and I, I sort of you were obviously there with 
with um, your now wife, Sam. Yeah. You guys had all sorted. You had a car and stuff. Yeah. I didn't really, you know, I, was, I didn't, didn't have, have a car. Much, yeah. I didn't have much. And I was like really, you know, I was trying to Uber to get like furniture and Uber yeah. it back. And I remember at some point I was like, gee, I really, I don't know how I'm going to move this stuff. So I sort of asked you like if I could get some help with some boxes. And yeah. you said, yeah, no worries. So I walked to your house. You left the boxes out the front and said, they're just out the front, man. And I was like, geez, it really would be nice if you could maybe drive me back or, I don't know, somehow help me move in a little bit. So then I, like, did two trips of walking to, to and from your house to get all those boxes and take them back. And this is, you know, we were friends for years at the time. But, I, you know, like, so I can't imagine how empty the promise would have been I, to, I, to this guy, to, you know, a yeah. neighbour who you barely sort of know. I remember with that story, I think I've told you that yet, but I remember when you texted me and said, got the boxes, I remember leaning out of the third story window and I could see you walking down the street <laughs> in the boxes. Oh, he's going to have to do another trip. There's a few more down there. <laughs> oh, well, that'll take him a while. Seize the day with whatif.com and make up for missed holidays. Unforgettable Aussie getaways are just a click away. What if? It's Aussie for travel. It's 610. Hallelujah, it's 610. Good morning, Shani from Williamson. How you doing? Hi. Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Hey. That is the most amount of energy I think we've ever well, had. No, I don't know if you really think it's energy, Shani. I think it's more <laughs> you've got a super loud phone line, but that's fine. That's no. Good. I like. I just like how you. Why? Why are you up and so up and about this morning? What are you? What are you doing? I run an Osh, so it's the busiest right. time of the year. School holidays. Yeah. Of course, you've got to be perky. You got anything <laughs> sort of fun? You got any trips lined up? You going to the movies, or is it more just you sort of hang at the? Um, the yeah, Osh we're going to time zone today. Time oh, that's zone. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> Can we come? Yeah, sure. Why not? Awesome. All right. How do you go wrangling like forty kids at time zone? Yeah, it's fun. It's really fun. That's why you've got to love it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right. Well, Shani, we love your vibe, but unfortunately no points for vibe. Uh, you've got the next five questions in front of you, and if you get them all right, you will win a bin tank singlet. Pretty cool. Uh, awesome. M- milk is the latest essential household item to go up in price. Name a milk. cow's... Sorry? Okay, sorry. All right. Now the, now the energy's annoying me a bit because I didn't even finish the question. I didn't even... Very gutsy to have a guess, though. I, I, love, I love how quick you pulled the trigger there, but uh, he's up there, Turbo. Uh, quick, quick draw McGraw. Um, I was gonna, the question is, name a cow's milk alternative. Oh, oat milk. Yeah, very good. Okay, I'll just, I'll just finish this on. The, the Beer and Barbecue Festival was on this weekend. What is the name of grilled and cubed meats on a skewer? Oh, I would have no idea. So if you see, like, at a barbecue or somewhere and there's there's meat and there's veggies like all a, on a, yeah, on a there skewer. there might be, like, an onion and a bit of capskin with some meat on a stick. What right? is that? I'm going to go to the supermarket and I'm going to kick myself every time I see this. So you don't know what that is? Like meat on a skewer? No, it's just meat on a stick. Yeah, well, I mean, that is the only (laughs) answer we will not accept. Are we going to give Shani a bonus point for Vibe or are we going to move on? I did say vibe, no points vibe, for Vibe. Vibe, but, Vibe, yeah. Vibe, Vibe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> right. You twisted my arm, Johnny. You get a Vibe point. <laughs> it's a shazlick. Or like, Thank you. also in the name, you could also say just skewer. Skewer. Like a skewer. Uh, I would say anything bar meat on a stick. I'd accept kebab as well, to be honest. <laughs> meat lollipop. Oh, kebab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Former US President Donald Trump has said he'll run again in 2024. Who was the US president right before Trump? Uh, it was um, da, 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 the really good one. Yeah, we're, yep. We're not giving Obama. you Obama. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Okay, that famous car crash interview Prince, Prince Andrew gave to the BBC is actually going to be turned into a movie. What's Prince Andrew's older brother's name? George. <laughs> oh, it's good. Good guess, but vibe, 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 vibe. vibe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You played the vibe oh card again. Oh, my God. Oh, gee whiz. We have never, ever, ever... There's so many callers waiting. It's like, get me on here. I just want to be in the room with that thing. Okay, yeah, we'll keep your hand with the vibes. <laughs> All right, last question. 20 years ago today, this classic Eminem song went to number one in Australia. Can you finish these lyrics? Yeah, this looks like a time for me, so everybody just follow me because we need a little controversy. Because it feels so empty without me. <laughs> 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 
You're my favourite caller ever, I think, Charlie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing with us this morning. Thank you. you. yourself a Bintang singlet and Woo! you also get to play, uh, well, you get to pick the next song we play. Would you like Ben's song? And I secretly really, really hope you pick this song. Would you like a little bit of Spider-Man this morning? Kroger, Josie Scott in New York on top of that rooftop while Spider-Man's swinging webs. You know what I'm talking about, Johnny? All right, Liam, we're going for the vibe. Let's go, Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> You're my hero, Johnny. <laughs> Frumpy Mumpy time to get crumpy. Morning, Adelaide. Around this time yesterday, we were talking about that Burnside counsellor, Julian Carbone, uh, and how he sent an Instagram message to a 17-year-old girl referring to some of her bikini pictures. Um, there was a terrible interview where he was trying to defend it. Who was it intended for? I, I can't remember. Clearly someone who it probably was appropriate, maybe a friend of mine or something, or my wife. Yeah, you know, when you <laughs> message someone about being a bikini and you think it might be your wife, but yeah. then it's not. Oh, hang on, you're not my wife. You're a 17-year-old girl. I should have had my glasses on. And I will remain in my position, and then two days later I will step down. Yeah, well, yeah, he stepped down now. That is the update. Hey, up next, though, Ben, um, had a bit of a bit of an argument last night with the fiancé, and all of a sudden it like, took a turn and got like really... Personal. Did you measure someone in a bikini? No. <laughs> and if I did, I must have thought it was her, okay? And I have poor eyesight, and everyone knows this. <laughs> hey, Ben, I had a bit of an argument with my fiancé last night. Just, you know, just, just a lover's tiff. Mm. Um, nothing too serious. Um, but, yeah, we're just sort of going back and forth. And uh, and then she shot back with, oh, yeah, why don't you shave your effing neck right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> like it just—it was, it was so personal. I was like, "How long have you been holding on to that one?" Yeah, I think your neck looks good. Yeah, I thought so too. I, it just felt a bit loaded. It yeah. felt like, I mean, we've been together for like five years. If you just thought like I don't shave my neck right the whole time, I was, did you debrief? Did you find out what? Well, I, I was like, "What do you mean?" She says sometimes I just leave some scraggly bits like down the bottom, <laughs> like because I don't know. I sort of just just yeah. do it with the clippers. I, yeah, I don't yeah, really yeah. like a straight yeah. shave, but I I and she like pointed out the spot, and I'm like, I never really noticed before. But like if you look <laughs> if you look sort of here to the right, there is a few. Longer, oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Like, a few stray bits. Like nothing nothing to to phone home about. But yeah. yeah, there's probably just yeah. I just sort of missed that. Spot. Very personal, sometimes. very personal, very jab. personal attack. Yeah, I was like, oh, I thought we were just having a little bit of a funny argument, but yeah. then boom. Because with you, there's so many things you could attack. Exactly, and there, and now it's just you know adds to the list of things I'm self conscious <laughs> of. I'm you know I'm spending an extra half an hour now making sure I yeah. just get all the little bits on my neck done right yep. because apparently I wasn't shaving it right. Why don't we do this this morning? Thirteen twenty four ten. Did the argument get personal? Mm. Maybe it was with like someone close to you, like a, a friend or a loved one, and you sort of like knocking it back and forth. I'd be worried if it was a work colleague. Him just go, oh yeah, why don't you shave your neck right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get a better haircut or something like that. Uh, Emily from Happy Valley, what happened? Hey, so you know that moment when you get secondhand embarrassment? Mm, yeah. I was sitting in the back seat of my friend's car, and my best friend missed the turn off. And her and her partner started ripping into each other, and he said, "Okay, double chin. Why didn't no! you do it?" Oh. Yeah. Are they still together or? No, that left yeah. long ago. Yeah, it's it's not for the best. Not the healthiest sort of relationship, is it? Uh, Anna joins us now. Um, did the argument get personal? Yeah. Hi. I work with kids, and they're like the most savage ever. Yeah. So I was, like, arguing with my colleague just about, like, stuff at work. Mm. And then the kids came in and were like, yeah, well, you can't say anything because you're old. <laughs> how, how, I'm not how, even old. How old are you? I just turned 27. Yeah, that's not old. That's, uh, 27 no. Club. 27 club. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. No, you're not old at all. No, no. need to mention the 27 club. Oh, I'm sure you're not going to die. It's <laughs> uh, just, just merely pointing out the fact that a lot of people have. Yeah. Um, it's kind of spooky. Yeah. You got Kurt Cobain. You got you know. You've got Amy. Yep. You've got uh, 
Yeah, well, it's Jim Morrison's in it. You know a bit hasn't gone super well when Liam starts talking about the 27 Club. <laughs> when I start referencing celebrities who've died. I reckon this talkback's going on the 27 Club. Janis Joplin. <laughs> um, yeah, that's definitely, yeah, this is this has really died in the house. New emoji check. Look out, guys. There's a few more things coming to our phones. We've got a goose now, a little bird, donkey, moose. you got a uh, you got a knob of uh, ginger there. Liam, you'd be devastated to know that there is no subway emoji yet. Okay. I know well, you've been yeah. petitioning hard for that. Well, yeah, look, I, I, I'm i a big fan of, of subway and something, you know, I'm got. Often you will text and ask, hey, where are you going? We've got a meeting. And it'd be easy if I could just knock back a, a foot long. <laughs> you know, at the moment I have to send I have to send back a foot and you and sometimes it confuses you. You think, the podiatrist? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm getting a foot long. Bring a bucket and a mop for the Ben and Liam podcast. Uh, we are joined now by your Saturday morning breakfast host, Jody Otty. G'day, how you doing? I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> you say tired, though, but didn't you just come back from a holiday? I know, but sometimes when you come back from a holiday, you need a holiday from yeah. your holiday. Yeah, so okay. true. Um, yeah. I want you guys to think about the one thing that you hate doing the most in the whole entire world. What is it? Spending a weekend with Liam. <laughs> <laughs> My God. That's harsh. Um, running? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, travelling with children, can I tell you, is infinitely worse than anything yeah. you could ever despise in your life. Well, so, and, and can I just say, as someone who doesn't have kids but has travelled in, you know, vessels like airplanes and that sort of stuff, it is the worst when they're, you know, they're even near you. It's yeah. annoying. Are you, oh, okay, so you're one of those people on the Well, no, I'm, I'm... annoyed at the people who have the I'm, children. I'm keeping quiet about it, but I'm secretly going, well, you shut that kid up. <laughs> I reckon there's an age where when a baby, like when they're like infant... They can't help it. They're crying and it's almost like... I was talking to my wife Sam about this and she was saying it's like maternal. Like when when it's an infant, you just want... You're like, oh, you just want to help it. Whereas yeah. it ticks over to a certain age yeah. and it becomes the worst or thing in the world. Or if there's just a kid yeah. having a bit of a tantrum. Yeah. Or they're yeah. running up and down the aisle. Sit down, mate. Yeah. yeah. It, you, we, you almost want the pilot to go... <laughs> 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 just put the plane <laughs> down for a sec. Teach him a lesson. Just so the kid starts rolling <laughs> yeah. the car. That's why you got to put your seatbelt on, kid. <laughs> So we were due to go to Byron Bay last uh, Thursday. Yeah. And I was at work last Wednesday at Channel 10 in the afternoon and my husband's calling me. He's going, oh, my God, mm. they've cancelled all the flights to Queensland until next Tuesday. Why, though? And I don't know. I think it's staff shortages, I think. But that's, that's a So big, they cancelled, like, five days of flights. And it's just, it all started to unfold and I'm at work going, I want to rescue my holiday. And then working mm. going, can you go and do a live cross at the airport? And I'm like, I want to rescue my holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Basically, they cancelled our flight and then they called my husband back and said, don't worry about it, we've got a solution. We're going to fly you on the red eye from Adelaide mm. to Hobart. Now, I'm not Interesting. geographically minded, but yeah. that seems like the opposite direction. It does. So then Hobart, two hours there. Melbourne, two hours there. Oh. Gold Coast. <laughs> and then... What a punish. And so then you can drive to Byron Bay that evening. So I think Whoa. we left home at like 5.30 and got to Byron at about 9, 10 o'clock. Oh, that, that is chaos. So with, th- with, with three kids? With three kids. children. And there was one woman who at one stage, one of my kids kicked the back of her chair and she's turned around and eyeballed me and I've gone, oh, Dals. <laughs> <laughs> don't you even. If only you knew. Five states, three children, one day, don't even test I'd me. I love that in the ties. Oh. Jody Oddie loses it on <laughs> <laughs> I was very close. <laughs> then we get there, we take our bags off the carousel and we get to Byron. We go to open the girls' bags. Guess what? What? Wrong bag. Oh. And so he... As in someone else's bag from the airport? So they look the same. Oh, so he's grabbed no. ours. <laughs> and so Greg drove back to the Gold Coast airport the next morning to deliver his bag to do the right thing. They yeah. call Mr. Dimitri. He's like, I'm into Woomba, man. You can keep my bag. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> So did you get your bag back? Uh, we did eventually because they said, mate, it's theft now yeah. that you know you've taken someone else's bag. Yeah. yeah. But the kicker to this whole story is the airline, who I won't mention, but if you were to fly for the first time, you'd be a... Okay, and, gotcha. Which is apt because every time we fly with them, it feels like we're flying for the first time. Mm. And so... Because I think they're pretty good, just from my personal... Do you know I, what? I'm, I'm more... I used to strap onto the tag, so it was yeah. a bit of a luxury. Oh, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And can I take my hat off to every single worker for that airline because mm. they're busting their, you know, yeah. to keep that thing running. But at the moment, it's like the Wild West of Airlines. You yeah. don't know, it's roulette. You don't know where you're going to end up. Well... I'm glad you mentioned that, Jody, because Liam and I had a very similar experience. Not as bad because we didn't have kids with us, but coming home from Bali, right? Yeah. Yes. We uh, were like, so it was a, so we got on the flight at midnight and we were supposed to land in Adelaide at 5 a.m. At about 5.30, 
Liam and I were looking at our phones going, this is weird, we should have landed by now. Mm. And all, you know how they turn the lights off on an overnight flight? And then and then, it, then the flight went for another, like, almost two hours after that. And, and everyone like, started getting really? restless. Everyone was like, what's going on? What's going on? And yeah. no one was saying anything. And then we were, it was like cabin and crew, ready for descent. And then it was like, ah, well, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Perth. <laughs> we were like, what? And we were like, we live what? in Adelaide. We're from Adelaide. And, and then the- he told us, oh, we had a forecast where there could be a chance of fog in Adelaide. So we couldn't land there, so we had to make the call, so we turned the plane around and went to Perth. I'm like, go to Melbourne! That's closer, that's only half an hour. So they, they t- And if you look at the flight tracker, you see the green line go all the way to Adelaide, do a hard right and then go to Perth. We refueled on the tarmac, and then we basically had to do what is almost Adelaide to Bali again from <gasps> Perth back to Adelaide. And the worst part was you could tell the pilot, w- you could tell he was sorry and that he was trying to make it better, and while we were refilling the plane, he buzzed through and said, well, ladies and gentlemen, turns out there was no fog and we could have. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we had a bit of false information. I'm like, why did you tell us that? Don't tell us that. Oh, everyone was like, oh, like groaning <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> Do these people, for the airlines who do the geography, did they yeah. fail in year I don't nine? Know. Like, no. What the hell? Yeah, Perth's a weird one. Yeah. That's a, and to be honest, first time I'd been. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, 132410, biggest airport ever rounds. Attention, all passengers, your flights have been cancelled. Oh. Yeah, this is your time to have a bit of a moan and a groan on air for everyone to hear. 132410 is our number if you've had a big airport F around. And look, it's normally, yeah, like, a lot of the time you feel bad for the people working at the airlines, especially at the moment, because it's like, obviously they're sort of recovering and everyone's like, ah, well, COVID's done, everyone's like really wanting to travel again. So it's almost like they can't really keep up with, yeah, with everything. Yeah, I feel it's... so very sorry for the ones that are turning up day in, day out and copying it probably from passengers. It's not their fault. Yeah, it's like I mean, obviously you, decisions being made above their You head. gave a few flight attendants a bit of a spray. No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. To be honest, good, good on you for not because uh, you had what... How many flights for it? Five. We went to five states in one day. That is so Instead of just crazy. going to one to, place. Yeah. We, did, we were Adelaide, Gold Coast direct, and then a wow. quick 40-minute drive, and there we go. But instead we went Adelaide, Hobart, Melbourne, Gold Coast, Byron. Imagine, yeah. like, wow. waking up at 4 a.m. to no. go to Byron, <laughs> and then you end up, like, your head probably hit the pillow at midnight in Byron. Yeah. yeah. That's a much. marathon. But they cut our, um, cut our holiday short by a day, two days, and then we went to, to extend it, and they're like, well, that'll cost you $180 per person in our family, which is a yeah. family five of us. Yeah, right? you're going, hang So that's on. an extra $1,000 for the holiday that you cut short, what? Yeah. Yeah, wouldn't have thought so. Yeah. Um, Michaela from Elizabeth Park, this was a month ago. You had a bit of an F around at the airport. Uh, yeah, I went to uh, meet my girlfriend in Sydney who was flying in from Texas, and She's flying in, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm waiting in the airport, she's meant to get there at 6. 3 o'clock in the morning I find out that our next flight back to Adelaide got cancelled. We couldn't get back on a flight till 8 o'clock, well, 8 o'clock rolls around, and the flight delayed, delayed, delayed. Then we had to get approval to even get in the air, and then land again in Adelaide, they had to reopen the airport. It was absolutely Because you were landing when the airport was closed, they had to reopen the entire airport for you? Yeah, they have to get approval from, like, some government. Oh. <laughs> That's my really favourite thing about Adelaide. Know. When people yeah. go, Adelaide's a bit quiet, isn't it? You go, no, it's not. There's so much happening here. But the airport does close at midnight. <laughs> uh, and, and, and we will yeah. not be opening again until about 6am. <laughs> there is no real red eye here, is there? Uh, Beck joins us now. More for our good morning. Beck, biggest airport F arounds. What happened? Oh, look. Good morning, uh, Ben, Liam and Jody. How are you this Very morning? Good. Happy Friday. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So it was Christmas. Um, just finished having a great time with my family in Melbourne, had all these parties lined up in Adelaide at home, thought let's book the New Year's Eve flight, had it for one o'clock, ended up uh, waiting in the airport for a good six hours on New Year's Eve, waiting to get that beautiful flight home, got home 9.30 New Year's Eve just in time to party on with the friends. Oh, at least you made it. I, I yeah. thought you were going to spend New going, Year's Eve in the airport. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in front of, like, Gloria Jeans or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, to be fair, Beck, that's not too bad. Like, yeah. you, still, you still made it. You know, yeah. you would have partied on to the night. What are you going to do night. New Year's Eve? I'll go and buy a rip curl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andrew in Melrose Park, good morning. This was last weekend. Your airport Ephraim, what happened? G'day, guys. Uh, yeah, so I was uh, due to leave Adelaide. Friday night to go and catch up with a few mates in Queensland and uh, come home on the Sunday night and I got a text 
uh, the day before saying that, oh, we've re-blo- uh, rebooked your departing flight for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? Are you serious? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, we'll probably squeeze one more on Joe in McLaren Vale. Go for it. What happened at the airport? Hey, guys. I uh, I flew out of China um, and got delayed and flew. I was flying with Cathay Pacific, flew into Singapore, because of the delay, we missed our connecting flight, and they put us on a flight with Qantas. Qantas didn't really know that we were delayed. We flew into Perth Airport. Um, usually, they put you up in a hotel if there's a, a delay. Yeah. But they, they just didn't know that we were delayed, and we had to sleep in the airport overnight. Oh. Until flight the next day. Awesome. Oh, great to see a bit of Perth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, you know, good little extended trip. Yeah, that sounds great, Joe. It's a Every week we go head to head, 30 seconds each. That's up to the jury to decide who is the winner. Helen, Courtney, Antonio, good morning. Good Good morning. 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 Obviously, it's the school holidays at the moment. A lot of kids just kicking their feet up. And uh, maybe you don't even realise this, you know, when you're at school, but they are quite often the best years of your life, especially with the amount of holidays you get. I'm saying, I'm saying yes. I couldn't stand school. I loved school. I thought school was great, Ben. Um, that's why I'm going to be arguing for it. You're going to be arguing against it. The top Isn't it is... sad, though, that you think that school was the best years of your life? Because they're behind you now. Yeah, but, like, yeah, I mean, things are, things are good. They're just not as good as school. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, we'll see how we go. The topic is, is school the best years of your life, Ben? Are you, are you ready to take it away? I'm ready to go. All right. You're telling me that the best years of your life were when you were standing in the canteen line with $3 rattling around in your pocket, waiting to buy a small Hawaiian pizza that tasted like cardboard from the angry canteen lady who taking her menopause out on all of the kids, <laughs> all while wearing an oversized hand-me-down jumper that still smells like your older brother? Not for me, no thanks. School is just spending eight hours a day getting told what to do. Do this, do that, eat your food, stop eating your food, get back to work. To be fair, work isn't any different, but at least you get paid for doing it. Growing up, I didn't need teachers telling me that I was a disappointment and a failure. I was already getting that at home. Well, I can see why you didn't enjoy your younger years. There was a few <laughs> hints, um, maybe there near the end of the, the debate. <laughs> uh, but I, I've got to say, no, that's just not the case, Ben, because school's the best, man. You get to hang out with your mates all day. There's no responsibility. Everything's funnier back then. Stacks on, the penis game, stomping on people's new white shoes, putting bark in the fountain so the water shoots out faster into people's throats. Just classics. The real world sucks. No one eats Dunkaroos or plays Foursquare. At school, you get told what to do, when to eat. You get put in solitary. If you've been bad, it's a lot like prison. And I, for one, think I'd thrive in prison. I like structure, you know? So, And tell me right now that you wouldn't trade mortgage repayments and taxes for Legionnaire hats and the sweet smell of Lynx Africa after dropping a lunchtime masterclass on the soccer oval. You would not thrive in prison? Yeah, I would. I like structure. Yeah, but you wouldn't thrive in prison. Oh, yeah, there's other things about prison I wouldn't enjoy, but at least I would know what time it's coming. Do you know what I mean? I like structure. Helen from the jury, good morning. Who won the big debate? Was it Liam or was it myself? Oh, poor little Ben. You weren't much of a joiner, were you? Liam, I'm with your basketball. When I went to school, I went to netball, soccer, tennis, winning, down and down. Stop. How much would that cost me now? It was all free. It was all on the government. How yeah. good is school? Yeah. So good, Helen. Thank you for that. I think Courtney might have been telling one of her kids off one of our other <laughs> I think jurors. She, was. Um, she joins us now. Is everything sorted there, Courtney? Everything good? Sorry. <laughs> nah, that's all right. Fine. Hey, you smoke those kids. I mean, yeah. if, they're not, if they're not in line, you got to tell. I know it's school holidays. I mean, you, you get your hands full. Um, but what, what do you think? I mean, has Ben won the debate or have I won it? Ben for sure won the debate because honestly, in school, you do get told what to do. At least I'm earning money and getting told by a boss what to do. I, yep, yeah, but I exactly. like being told what to do. You get told what to do in work. No, not really. Yes, you do. Bit of a cowboy here. Can't no, you're not. Do what I want. Antonio, my friend, who won the big debate? Was it me or was it Liam? Ben and Liam. Firstly, Liam, there's no chance you would survive in prison. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you would, Antonio? I, um, more than you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's probably be fair. You, you don't strike me as the kind of guy that uh, would, would thrive yeah. in a prison environment. Yeah, the opposite of Look, thrive. Do you know what, boys? You've come back strong with the debate. It's had a few weeks off. Mm-hmm. Pretty good debate. Ben, 
I know what you mean with the grumpy canteen lady. I did have a few of those. But the, the prices in the canteen were so good back they in the were, day. Yeah, you could get were. a curly whirly and a passiona for less than a dollar. Yeah. You know? Do you reckon yeah. you can still get curly whirlies in schools? Like, surely there's too much sugar I now. So. I wouldn't I have thought so, so though. They, yeah. like, we had the big fretted frogs, which was like 20 cents. We used to get, uh, for 50 cents, used to get a uh, potato fritter. Oh, oh unreal. That was so good. Oh, hang on. You liked school, did you? I like the yeah, well, you boys might might not have done this, but I I used to have to fill in the brown paper bag. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for the lunch Hang order. On, you were the lunch order monitor, were you? Oh, I got it once or twice. That was the biggest accolade you could have in the class. Wasn't classroom. it? Just, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Because that was the you you everyone put it in the box, yeah. and then you took the box and you were responsible for it. Then the lunch ladies would put the food in the box, and you'd come back Do with a box. My favourite is when you'd get like you know you get a hot dog, a sausage roll, or whatever, and they would tape your change to the <laughs> yeah, bag. Yeah, that's right. they'd, they'd, they'd tape like, oh, you know, you're twenty cents short. They're not going to short change you. Yeah? I <laughs> love so that. Good. Oh, do you know what? This is so nostalgic. Uh, there is absolutely no way I can give Ben the win here. Uh, School was the best day. Yeah. Yeah. That was a debate. A, a big, big debate. debate. We now have the winner. Thanks, Antonio. I feel like you played yourself there, Ben, just buying into how good school yeah, was. Yeah, lunch orders were pretty fun, <laughs> I'll admit. Close your eyes and wrap your ears around your face. It's the Ben and Liam Podcast. What's trending? Trending all over the internet. Twitter. Instagram. Welcome to Facebook. Hey guys, it's that exciting time of year where the new emojis are coming out. (gasps) There's 30 of them set to be released in September. Now, I'll give you, I'm not going to go through all 30, but I'll give you some of my personal highlights. We have things like a jellyfish. Pretty cute. Didn't know we didn't have that. Mm -hmm. A few more coloured love hearts. We've got some, uh, like a little, is it edamame or is it a Yeah, yeah. Yeah. edamame, yeah. Uh, We've also got a ginger knob. uh, I'd say ginger root. root. It's a ginger ginger root. Do we we need, uh, was the the nub of ginger high on anyone's list? Like how often are you using that one? Hey, can you go to the shops and get me a... (laughs) <laughs> and send that emoji? Can like, we, what? Because there's one Or is new, it a sweet potato? There's one nah, that's, new that's ginger, yeah. face emoji. I wouldn't mind talking through that. What do we think that so face it's, emoji it's is? The, it's the classic yellow face with the oh, with the wide mouth, but it's it's sort of blurry as if it's it's been shaken. Yes, so um, it's got a blurry, like, either side of it. I feel like it's when you're wigging out, and you, you, or, like, your friend just says... Oh, you know, did, did you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they're like, oh, you know, your, our favorite band's coming, and you turn that back and go, Zzz! like your head's nah, like. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think it's just someone shaking their head. I think it shows that the face no, is just going no. Because actually. if they were shaking their head, it would be a neutral mouth, but that mouth is puckered like it's like. That's <gasps> true. Or okay. is it someone with a concussion? Okay, well that's very ha- specific. Had, how'd you go at footy and send that back? <laughs> Well, you wouldn't be sending it Yeah, back. you probably end up send, <laughs> end up sending a nub of ginger back. And huge, <laughs> huge news in Hollywood uh, came out yesterday. If you haven't seen, Khloe Kardashian is apparently expecting another baby. Big ass house, and you can't afford a Wi-Fi box out here? It's not about affording. It's about radiation. You're going to die anyway. You understand that, right? Die with a good Snapchat going through. I, look, I personally, she's one of my favourite Kardashians. Kylie comes in first. So, Khloe... Remember how she was with Tristan Thompson, the athlete, the sports star, basketball? She was with him for years. They uh, had a daughter together? To be honest, no. But now I'm, okay. a, I'm around it now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, they were together for a while. It all started coming out, though. Unfortunately, he was cheating on her. Um, one of them was Kylie Jenner's best friends. There was that whole debacle. But they have continued to co-parent their daughter, True, together. News yesterday came out that they're actually going to co-parent another kid together. But via surrogate with somebody Didn't else. Did he just cheat on her again though, like a second time? Yes. Hang yes. on. So they're so they're not together anymore. They're so split up. So they're not up, back together. But they are decided... both they're both using a surrogate, so yep. the same surrogate. They're going to have another kid, and then raise the kid together. But they're not together themselves. Correct. Uh, so basically, just messy. getting another sibling for true. Their what? daughter. Also, if you were going to be the surrogate for someone, you'd be making coin off those two. Oh, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I Jeez. didn't think about that. Like yeah, would you offered. have a baby for Tristan and Chloe? <laughs> yeah. I mean, why, why, why not? Yeah, I'd, I'd, now that's some good content. <laughs> yeah, I'd support that.
<laughs> and finally, I know you guys, are you love your TikTok. I uh, haven't really gotten into it as much, but I did see this this morning. You know those videos that pop up, and they do come you know, on Instagram as well, where someone will do an act of kindness and yeah. they'll give someone some money or they'll buy something for them on the street, just a pure random, and they post it online and they say, this is just to make you feel good. Mm. Well, a woman in Melbourne has actually clapped back after a video was put up of her and she didn't consent to it. I've got the audio here. For uh, reference for the visual, the guy gives her a bunch of flowers and says, hold hold these, please, walks away and says, have a great day, leaving her with the flowers. Sorry to bother you. Is it okay if you can just hold these? Have a lovely day. I hate it. I must admit, like, I like people doing nice things, but if it's really nice... You're not filming it and getting the kick out of the likes of and putting it on not. socials. And I get if someone's just at the shops and they're trying to have their lunch and then you're like filming them and do you know what I mean? If they don't want well, to be in it, I get that. Liam, that's exactly what happened. The video has gone viral. It's gone. It's gotten more than 57 million views. But she's like in her 50s, 60s. She saw the video and then has spoken out saying, I didn't consent to being filmed and yeah. I don't want those flowers. And actually, quote, it interrupted her quiet time. She asked some people, were you filming me after she spotted them? And they said no. Yeah, they yeah, posted the video. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, it's a bit tacky, isn't it? Yes. It's just sort of fake. and It's not sort of... So fake. Real. But anyway, um, Belle, I mean, you've been you've been working like so hard lately. And um, Ben and I just wanted to um, get you a little something. Um, so, got some flowers here for that? you. <laughs> got some flowers. Oh, oh, no, no, I dropped them. Uh, thank you for the bunch of flowers. Interrupted my quiet time though, and I don't want them. Josh, did you? We've got six cameras in here. Did you get that? <laughs> Put that on the bloody socials now. <laughs> Put that now. on the talk right now. Thanks. We are the only radio station in the great state of South Australia that's doing the Friday meat tray. <laughs> All righty, folks, it's time for the Ben and Liam meat tray. On the FM band, anyway. I think our friends upstairs at 5AA also might give away a bit of meat. But you know, it's just a bit of a universal thing. Well, an Australian thing, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's, you know, to reward someone. With just uh, a few chops, a few patties, a couple of snags. Uh, so we do this every week. Uh, we also always look at our worst caller. And uh, this week it's got to be Sarah from Hillcrest who gave us possibly the worst Irish accent of all time. Can you give us your best Irish accent? Uh, hello, Mark. I didn't know that's so bad. <laughs> Uh, Sarah joins us now. You're not the best caller, you're the worst caller, so it's, it's rare that we get the worst caller on again. But we were thinking um, maybe you could redeem yourself this morning. Hey, do you like the sound of that? I would love to redeem myself. <laughs> well, this is your time to shine. You know what? I reckon I reckon our, our winner won't mind if I open the glad wrap and maybe take a couple of sausages out. Yeah. You know, it's not technically the Friday meat tray, it's just a portion of it. If this Irish accent is worthy enough, I mean, you've had four or five days to, to practice. Maybe we can get Sarah to say, like, um, I listen to Ben and Liam on Nova. Yeah, oh, you. Something like you, that. You even put a little bit of flair on the end. Yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You say that, as you know, but, but like you're from Dublin. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello. I listen, I listen to Ben and Liam from Nova. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll give you a Tavachi for effort, but I don't think I'll give you a full sausage. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate that. Um, we've got to talk now to our best caller, though, and I tell you what, this one. This one makes you cringe. Uh, it's got to go to Shelley, who accidentally sent nudes to the wrong person. I was sexting my boyfriend at the time mm. and um, I sent an explicit message combined with a sexy little photo of lingerie oh, yeah. and right. I accidentally sent it to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that relationship never quite recovered from that, did it, Shelley? Not at all. And even now it's still incredibly embarrassing. Yeah. We still just don't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Except for on uh, the radio, which is fine. We're yeah. grateful for that. Thank yeah. you very much. And it's gotten yourself the Friday meat tray on your birthday of all days. Happy birthday, Shelley. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, I'm a winner. Woo. Mm, but I also a... did something pretty bad to do it. So, <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> You're a winner and a loser in the same in the same setting. Hey, this is all thanks to Mr. Meats as well in uh, West Highmarsh. Go check him out. Go and see Jimmy and the team. They specialise in spit roasts and Jimmy's secret Greek herbs from his home island of 
Kalimnos in Greece. I don't have a Mediterranean bone in my body. That's why I said that. Kind of It's pretty close, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Shelley, I mean, this has got like so many Greek spiced meats. You're going to love it. You could send your dad a sexy little photo of, of just the meat <laughs> and say, maybe come over for a barbecue. How does that sound? Oh, sounds like a great idea. What could possibly go wrong? All right, Shelley. Uh, are you outside? Are you inside? I am inside. Okay, well, I'm going to have to make sure I get the coordinates right then to shoot this through the window. Are you ready for the meat tray? Far away. Oh. Oh, oh I go. think I see it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's oh. coming. It's coming. Ah! Oh, caught it. Oh, oh, right in the well rear basket. Done. What a cracking catch. <laughs> uh, good stuff, Shelley. Thanks for that. Ben and Liam is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.